Hello everyone, I'm Lucas Richman. Welcome to Creative Notes. Today I'll be discussing the creative process behind my concerto for violin and cello, Un Pasto con Luciana e Mario. In 2018, I was commissioned by Dachlan and Anora Foa to write a piece in honor of Dachlan's parents, Mario and his late wife, Luciana. After visiting the Foas in their native Italy, it became clear to me that a musical celebration of the Foa family should take its inspiration from the heart of Italian culture, food. As such, Concerto for Violin and Cello, Un Pasto con Luciana e Mario, a meal with Luciana and Mario, follows the progression of a meal in three movements, primo, secondo, e dolce, first course, main, and dessert. The first movement, or first course, primo, weaves the notes assigned to the names Mario and Luciana into multiple configurations. Mario, for instance, M-A-R-I-O, becomes F-A-B-D-A, -A, heard in its full form with an arpeggiated fanfare in the violin. While Luciana, L-U-C-I-A-N-A, becomes E-G-C-B-A-G-A, -G -G -A, the basis for the movement's secondary theme. With poetic license or composer's discretion, depending on <laughs> however you want to term it, uh, accidentals were introduced to each name to create a bit of uh, variety. Uh, sometimes in the case of Mario, the first pitch became an F sharp, while the final pitch sometimes was termed as an A flat or its enharmonic equivalent, G sharp. This is heard in the very opening chords when you hear the first, the five notes of Mario's name, followed by the vertical rendering of Luciana's name with her seven notes. The two lovers call out for each other. Mario, Luciana, Mario, Luciana. And then the letters of their names are used in alternation to create a brand new melody, beginning with the F sharp in Mario's melody and Luciana's E natural. Call that the interwoven melody. The violin and cello court each other through the first course of our meal, viewed through variations on their names, as well as through the interwoven melody. The second movement, secondo, uses a sped up version of the interwoven melody as the basis of its musical material. And this alternates between that very rapid waltz and a sweeping melody born of full-blown Italian romanticism.
Secondo segues directly into a cadenza for the two solo instruments, which, while beginning with the uh, vigorous energy of Secondo, gradually relaxes into our dessert course, Dolce. It makes for a sweet ending of the concerto by combining the notes assigned to the family name Foa, F-O-A-H, with one of my favorite Italian desserts, the rum baba, B-A-B-A. -B -A. And of course, what would our story be without amore? such an honor and privilege for me to have been able to spend so much time with so many members of the FOA family in Rome, Naples, and Atlanta. I do hope you enjoy my concerto for violin and cello, Un Pasto con Luciana e Mario.